My name is Hope, and this is the story of how I got my big buck. Sometimes you just gotta sit here and take it in when unbelievable things happen. <sighs> Took Hope out tonight, and uh, I'm sitting in the canoe with the deer right now with her, kind of resting. In this video, you're gonna see what can happen when you play the wind right. You uh, plant food, leave an area alone. It's the week of Christmas. I've got my daughter Hope with me this afternoon. And we've got a warm spell right now. I'm hoping that uh, a deer, a buck, will rather than walk all the way to beans, he will be lazy and just come eat from this green food source. We're gonna canoe up here to within about 30 yards of the blind. And we're gonna just tiptoe our way into the blind and get set up. And I don't think we're shooting a doe today. I think we're just gonna shoot a buck. I hunted here a few times. Uh, once I saw a pretty nice nine pointer in here. Be awesome if he come in. Uh, oats, wheat, peas, but also little bitty turnips. And a couple weeks ago when I saw that buck, he was just munching on those turnips. So I think that's what they're in here eating. Wish us luck. still and quiet as we sneak in because we're going into a bedding area and if we kill one it's going to be because he was within 100 yards bedded down probably It's that one that I passed up. I'm gonna help you, okay? Wait a minute. Don't move. Shoot, don't even put your finger on the trigger. I'll tell you when, okay? Just try to focus on holding him very, very still. See us, we're screwed. There's another dog. Okay. Oh my 
serious. Okay, hold on. Just wait a minute. Stop. There's a tree there, don't shoot. Wait. You want to aim a little bit behind the shoulder. Go ahead and shoot him. Like, aim about six inches further back in between the belly and the heart. Hit him in the heart. You smoked him, babe. You smoked that big buck. You just smoked him. She's a good 
shop. <laughs> you alright? Are you just calm as can be or is your heart beating? Did you see the blood pumping? Oh, you got I'm so tired. She's so excited. She shot him with a rage to the heart. She's doing that because she's spooked. She knows something's wrong. There's a button bug in a doe. She probably smells the blood, but she's not looking at us, luckily. I just want to watch them. Okay. Checking us out. prefer smaller turnips which are either there's two ways to accomplish small turnips one is you plant them late two is mix them kind of too heavy like seed at a higher rate than you should um, in this case I put the like a harvest salad mix out like oats wheat peas and um, And then I broadcast the turnips on top of that. So this whole thing is just full of turnips, little bitty turnips, and the deer are absolutely hammering them. There's the blind right there. It's a lock pile blind. And what we, so for this stand, obviously, so the wind is blowing this way and almost back towards that cliff. So the, our scent is blowing out Kind of to the side of the food plot. So if there's deer standing in this food plot, they're never going to smell us in that little blind. As you can see, it's pretty camo. It's pretty awesome. So she's over here finding blood already. So that buck was standing right here. Yeah. Follow us, sis, but be quiet and sneaky, okay? You can see the blood pumping out one. So, even though we know where she hit, it's interesting to look at the blood and kind of examine. Dude, I'm still shaking from this, guys. This is, there's nothing like taking your kids out, one, spending time with them, and just getting them into this passion that I have so much. It's, there ain't nothing like it. Right here, babe. 
Look, you can see it. Look, look up ahead. Look at all that blood up there. Even though we know that she hit him in the heart from the video, we're, we're very confident, but we're still gonna creep through here just really, really slow and easy. And I just texted the landowner because we don't own all of this. So this buck ran into the neighbor's property. So I texted him and he said, Dude, my neighbors are awesome. And I, I return the favor to them. If they shoot one, of course they can come track it on me. I just like to know about it. Same with him. Text him. He's like, yeah, go ahead. Just send me pictures. That's all I ask. So if you're watching this, thank you, John. I hope. Tell John thank you for letting you track the deer on. She's never, this is her first buck. My daughter's first buck, yeah. <laughs> all right. So do you see all the blood sprayed on the trees? It's just everywhere. Do you see the blood? Where's it at? up there yeah I can see the blood from here all over look at all this blood man this is you can see the blood is sprayed like this is where the deer ran there's, there's blood here from where the deer ran, and then there's also blood way over there, like it was just gushing out. This is the kind of blood she's she's just following this, uh, she's following this kind of just sprayed blood, sprayed blood everywhere, as you can see. It's a pretty nice, easy blood trail. some sort I think gross don't touch oh don't touch it rub it off whatever Wait, hold him up hold him up big oh. All right, here's where the arrow came out guys look at that big hole jeez <laughs> 
Dude. I don't know. I mean, this is the whole, this is the whole rage debate. Rage versus mechanical. And I'm gonna recommend a, or I'm sorry, a, a rage, like a mechanical broadhead, versus a solid fixed broadhead. Now, if you ask me, I'm gonna recommend a fixed blade head to you uh, most of the time. But uh, in this case, the arrows have trouble flying with a fixed blade broadhead. Um, they just don't come out of the, this cheap crossbow well with the fixed blade head. That's just as simple as it is. Um, and so, Whoops. but the field points hit um, consistently. Whoops. Hang on, I'll, I'll video that. So in this case, the rage works, but I am scared to death that we're going to hit a deer in the shoulder with a rage and not find it. Because in my life, I've done that twice. Um, anyhow, so we tell, I tell the kids to stay, aim low, and stay away from that shoulder. So, um, but man, when you hit them with these rages, it leaves a big hole. Whew. Whoopsie. <laughs> Red hands. Mm. So, anyhow, there's the exit. And there's the entry. Uh -huh. Oops. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get him and get him out of here. Shine that light on me. We got the buck loaded in the canoe, and uh, <clears throat> we're ready to go and eat dinner. What's for dinner? Buckheart.